YouTube friends, what is going on? David Lee back, brand new video today. We are talking about uh, some really cool filters, the Cinepax Clear Streak and Split Crystal filters. Uh, now in this video, I wanna be able to uh, make sure that I can answer three important things when it comes to these filters, right? Uh, number one is what are the filters? Uh, number two is how do you use the filters? And number three would be, uh, should you buy these filters, right? And I will never ever push a product on uh, anyone on my channel, right? Because that's just not who I am. Um, so rather than say, you know, buy these filters, it's, you know, should you buy these filters? Because I feel like those, um, you know, three main key talking points um, are the most important things when it comes to, uh, should you buy a set of filters or a lens or a monitor or a camera, right? So let's go ahead and start with what the actual filters are. So the clear streak filter um, provides kind of like an anamorphic flare, right? As one thing. But the one thing about anamorphic lenses is depending on which anamorphic lens you're using, some of them only have like, you know, one single flare. Some of them will have uh, a flare sort of within a flare. Um, and the other ones don't really flare a lot. They just have more of the um, traditional anamorphic uh, options, right? As far as like de-squeezing the image. Um, so these ones have really interesting flares, right? We can see from some of these example footages, example footages, example footage that I am showing right now, uh, you'll see that it creates, uh, again, very, very uh, stylized flaring, right? You have the horizontal flares. Along with that is the actual filter can be rotated on the fly, right? In real time, so that way you can get uh, vertical flares. Maybe you want diagonal flares, or maybe you want to be able to um, have the flare rotate as you're filming, right? That might be a stylized um, choice. So the clear streak filter gives you different options, uh, more versatility, more diversity uh, when it comes to say traditional filters where you're only going to get a horizontal one and maybe you got to unscrew it and go to a diagonal one and make sure it stays on the filter, right? These ones have in real time, you can rotate the filters, right? And the split crystal filter is actually something really interesting because it allows you to create um, triplets of whatever is in the image. So say you have a person uh, painting on a canvas, right? Instead of having one person on the canvas, you can replicate that person um, in camera, right? Without having to do anything in post. And I'm a big proponent of being able to get things in a camera. Uh, not to say that, you know, post-production uh, tricks aren't available. They are always available. But for me, I prefer to get everything in camera just because there's a lot less work to do in post-production when you have everything, um, you know, sort of baked into uh, to the image in such a way where, you know, these filters allow you to um, boost your creativity. So now that we've talked about, you know, what the filters are, uh, let's talk about how you use the filters. Let's start with the split crystal uh, filter first. And what you might notice is the actual packaging is, I don't know, a little bit more premium than what I'm used to, right? But I feel with the pouches, I don't know, there's just something more like premium about um, about the packaging, right? And if there's something premium about a product, usually the people behind it really care, they have a passion about, um, you know, what they're putting out in, into the world. So this one, little pouch guy here, and it comes with a little microfiber cloth, right? And in case you, you know, get some water on the filter or, or anything like that, you're filming a water scene, you wanna be able to kind of clean the filter a little bit. Um, and so you have, you know, microfiber cloth, but probably not what you wanna see right now. Um, so the split crystal filter, as you can see, if I can put it right here in front of the lens, how it's already kind of creating, you know, again, like kind of like triplets of myself. And in this case, there's, you know, four of me here, right? In terms of usability, um, it has a ring here we can, you know, put your, your finger in and then that's when you can hold it in front of your lens and, you know, being able to go up and down, maybe you want to go side to side and to be able to create the uh, effect that you want. If you want to go with that, there is a, a hole here for a quarter 20. You can put this on a magic arm and then attach the magic arm to your camera cage or your camera rig and be able to, you know, hold it in place while you, uh, while you film. So an example of that is say you have a heavier camera, a heavier, a heavier lens that has a longer rotation throw. Uh, you might not be able to, you know, hold a filter in front of your lens and also pull focus at the same time. So being able to have the uh, quarter 20 option, magic arm, thread it onto your camera cage, camera rig, uh, that way you can just focus on, on framing your subject and being able to uh, capture the moment as it's happening. Next up, we have the clear streak filter. Uh, this one is super, super cool. Uh, the one I have is a 77 millimeter thread, but they do have an 82 millimeter coming out um, soon. Uh, so again, same thing, right? Where you have a microfiber cloth, you have our little uh, beautiful pouch packaging. And then the filter itself, in order to adjust it, I can kind of show you right in front of me, right? 
is you can sort of see, oh, maybe I can get the focus in here. Cool. So you can see here, uh, you might be able to see the actual uh, streak lines. Um, but the cool thing is, you know, say I behind me is a lens, right? Uh, normally with other filters is you have to unscrew the thing and then, you know, get it maybe vertical, right? Because maybe, maybe you want vertical streaks instead. You have to unscrew the thing, screw it back on, and then you want to go back to horizontal, you know, same, pro same, same process, right? With this one is literally, I hold it in place. You can see that with my other hand, I'm just literally rotating it, right? And as I rotate it, then you can see the uh, the streaks as they rotate. Well, that's my face. So as I'm as I'm rotating it, right, the ins and outs of making a video, right? You can see that as I'm rotating it, the the lines are rotating as well too, right? And I like that because when you can save time on set, when you can be more efficient on set, is is a plus for me. It's a huge huge plus. So being able to um, even if you have people helping you out, right? It's so easy to just, you know, you know, if you're if you're the one operating the camera, it's so easy to just turn the thing, right? It's 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 just simple. And that's what I love about um, this specific filter. Now, are there any, you know, cons or uh, or issues when running these filters? Now, the only issue that I ran into uh, was filming the, uh, the little spec spot um, for crystal reality, right? Hopefully you guys have uh, taken a chance to watch. If not, it's 60 seconds. Pretty sure you can watch it all in one sitting. Um, but I was on a 100 millimeter macro um, with a foreground element and candles in the background. I did see the actual lines in the bouquet of the candles. Uh, so I wanted to see exactly if um, that was just maybe with the, the macro lens I was using. Uh, should you buy these filters? I think if you do a lot of product type photography, um, product commercials, maybe you're a content creator, sometimes being able to spice up the, uh, the visual aspects of whatever um, product we're trying to film is sort of invaluable, you know, and for the price uh, for the filters, I feel like these are long lasting filters that you can use for, you know, so many years. Uh, outside of product, maybe you do music videos, right? We all see you know, trippy kind of music videos from time to time. And maybe these filters, um, especially with the split crystal filter, can get you that in-camera, uh, you know, multi, multi-person effects. For the clear streak filter, maybe you have a couple of two lights in the background. Maybe you have some uh, hot practicals in the back that you want to be able to show off and, and again, create some sort of like visual aesthetic to it. And that clear streak filter is probably one of the best filters you can get to, uh, to create a better sense of, uh, of a different reality, of a different world. So I definitely recommend these filters for anyone who is looking to spice up your creativity. Maybe you've been in a lull for like a year, a year and a half, and you're like, I just need something that can um, reinvigorate my creativity, right? Whether you use it all the time, again, for someone like me who shoots off commercials, um, these aren't filters that I will use 100% of the time, uh, but these are filters that I can use for my YouTube channel, for what I'm doing, um, say product commercials, where um, if I talk to the client, talk to the agency, and uh, they are on board with um, elevating and spicing up the image, I'll use these filters. Music videos, um, stuff for like short films and narrative, where you just wanna be able to um, bring your audience into a different reality, right? A different world because sometimes it's nice to just get out of reality, out of all the, the, the you know, the, the bullshit that happens with our own reality. Sometimes it's nice to experience something different for a change. If you did like this video, leave it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as always, just so you know if I have new content coming out. Um, in regards to new content coming out, I am taking a little break uh, from YouTube just to spend more time on uh, you know, more more important things in my life right now um, with, with family and also with work. And uh, again, YouTube is gonna have to take um, take a back seat for some time as, you know, in my life right now, uh, family is extremely, is extremely important and uh, there are some health related issues um, with my family that I need to, that I need to address. Um, so unfortunately, you know, it might be a month or two months before I post out a new, another, uh, another video on YouTube. I am active on my podcast though, as, as that is something that uh, I've, I have been able to uh, see some great results from. And it's a little, it's a lot easier to produce a podcast than it is a YouTube video with post-production and then kind of film stuff, you know? Um, so the podcast is there, the Inspired Design Create podcast. I'll have a link in the description to the podcast. Um, and, you know, I hope I can at least stay connected through the podcast 
um, and through other live media um, with you guys. So that being said, friends, uh, enjoy your life, enjoy the people around your life, and uh, take time to take time to evaluate what's most important in your life, right? Because remember, every day you have an opportunity to create your experience and to write and tell your own story. My name is David Lee. I'll catch you guys in the next video.